I'm Christine Clare, winery director here at Willamette Valley Vineyards, and this is my son Lincoln Clare, the newest member of the winery family. As a new mom, I learned that much of brain development happens in the first year of life, and a great way to support that development is through talking to your newborn. Wine, of course, is our choice conversation at home and work, so I thought I'd use Lincoln's story time and share it with you. So welcome to Drinking with Lincoln, Bottle 2. On today's episode, we're here at our estate vineyard on a beautiful spring day, and we're gonna teach Lincoln about bud break, which is the official start of the 2020 growing season and vintage. Lincoln, the easiest way I can explain bud break to you is through your soon to be favorite Disney movie, The Lion King, where they teach us about the circle of life. The circle of life is a symbolic term for the series of events that unfolds on earth, bringing us from cradle to grave and through ups and downs, connecting all of us on earth. Here in our estate vineyard, we're starting to see the first signs of life after a long winter dormancy. This stage is called bud swell, and these are woolly buds named for the thin protective layer that's still supporting them through the spring threats. But in just a few more nice spring days, like the ones we've been having, these swollen buds will soon have bud break and burst open with new life similar to what you did just two weeks ago and how Mufasa and Nala brought Simba into the world. Gradual temperature increases and moisture help the buds to burst and they will start to grow miniature shoots with leaves and photosynthesis will start immediately providing energy to the vines. These young leaves are a vibrant chartreuse color similar to what we've been seeing in your diaper. But unlike that, this is one of my favorite times in the vineyard. You can look up the hill and see it covered in a golden glow. This is your first trip to our estate vineyard, but you'll enjoy many special moments here. It was planted by our founder, Jim Bruneau, back in 1983. Jim's full name is James, just like your middle name. So you already have a lot in common. Jim planted these vines using a Christmas tree planter behind a 33 horsepower tractor and hand watered them using 17 lengths of garden hose he purchased on sale at the local store. This estate vineyard is one of our coolest sites due to the marine influence we receive from the break in the coastal range right around Mary's Peak. Now that we're near the first stage of life, the rest are that the vineyard will enter flowering in late May or June. Then in the summer, it will have berry growth, followed by verajon or color change, causing the fruit to develop sugar and start the ripening process. Then it's harvest time and finally back to winter dormancy. See, that is the full circle of life. Now that the bottle is done, we'd like to thank you for joining us for another Drinking Lit with Lincoln, where we share the important lesson of the circle of life. Cheers. <laughs>